Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. How are you guys today? It's been a while since my last tutorial. Been very, very busy on another beautiful project that you'll hear about soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to create a grunge feel to your image. You'll see it's very, very, very simple. And all you need is a, one of your original images and a texture. Now you can go out and shoot textures of wood, um, concrete, peeling paint, you name it, you just go shoot a sidewalk somewhere and uh, bring that into Photoshop as well. You can play with that texture's color and um, just do whatever you want with it before putting it on the image. What's important about this tutorial is basically how to use the blending modes to get that uh, grunge effect. Alright, let's get right to it. As you can see on my screen, I have a photo of the Eiffel Tower that I took a, a few years back. And uh, if I look at my tabs here, I imported a texture. Now, what we'll need to do is bring that texture onto our image. So let me just drag that texture out, select the Move tool using Control v and dragging it on my image. Now I can put that texture back and as you can see this texture is not quite as big as the image so just for the purpose of this tutorial control T for transform free transform I'll just stretch it out double click and there we go we're hiding our image now it's not really grunge like because we don't see the image underneath now most people uh, will want to play with the layer opacity let me bring my layers palette in so you guys can see this here now if I just use the layer opacity here you're bringing out uh, the image back but it's all kind of uh, paled out and foggy and that's not what we really want for this type of image. We want the, the Eiffel Tower to stick out but we also want the grunge texture to stick out as well. Now to do that, let's bring that back to 100%, is to play with our layer modes. And for this type of uh, effect, we want to start right away with either overlay, soft light, or hard light. Let's start with overlay and see how it, it, it looks like. Not bad, not bad. If we look at before and after at 100%, this is usable. And we can play with the opacity here of that overlaid layer of our texture. I find that I'm losing a lot of texture with this, uh, with this type of uh, blending mode. So let me bring it back to 100%. And, uh, and at 100%, I'm losing some details and I get some blown out highlights here. So let's, let's go down to soft light and see how that looks. Uh, I'm getting more details back in here. That's, that's also a nice, interesting uh, uh, effect. Let me see how hard light looks. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting lots of the grunge in there. It's actually starting to look dirty, and that's what grunge is all about, is to dirtying your image, adding, you want to see that rough edge to your image, that texture. So that looks good, but maybe it's just a little too strong. So let me just tone that down a little bit. 60%. 50% looks awesome. Now let's look at the before and after and we have our grunge Eiffel Tower. Now you can do this with any type of image, any type of texture. I think a, a grunge looks really good on architectural stuff. Um, but it can also look really good on Halloween photos or just just about anything that you want to grunge. I don't know if that's a, a verb, but hey, why not? In Yannick's Dictionary it is. So that's it. A quick tip on how to create a grunge image using um, uh, layer blending modes, either overlay, soft light, hard light, play with it, it depends on your texture, it depends on your image, just play with those, use the opacity to tone it down if you need to, and that's it. This is Yannick's Photo, Yannick's Photo School signing out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.